What's up, everybody? It's your boy Marsman here. And today I'm welcomed by the crew to discuss our reactions and discussion on episode two of The Last of Us series from HBO. And we are going to be diving in to both our non spoilers, uh, non spoilers review, as well as our spoilers discussion. And that's going to be divided into two separate sections. So the first half is going to be de dedicated to the non spoiler review, and the second half is going to be solely based on our discussions and how we felt about each part of the episode. So if you have not seen the episode so far, you're in luck. You can watch the first half of this video and you can get our honest reactions with no spoilers intact. Don't worry. And if you have watched the video, you can watch the entire thing and see how we felt on the ratings as well as how we felt on specific parts of the episode. And I highly recommend that if you, if you haven't seen it, you want to watch it, watch our first half and then jump back in again and, and check us out. See if, if your feelings are the same as ours, on the overall uh, concepts, but I want to get us started with a non spoiler review. And basically I want to just get your first impressions and I'll start off with first. Essentially, I thought this was a solid episode for the most part. I thought that they gave you some pretty good moments. This was the, the, the time that they're out of the QZ. And if obviously that just means that you're out of the city itself, you're out in the wild, right? Essentially, this is the, the place where there's no safety, no security whatsoever. This is just the wild west. And essentially you need to go, and just try to survive. And I think for the most part, they matched the atmosphere of what the game was, right? They made it feel like, yes, dangers around any corner. And that could be a pretty bad thing for anyone. And I thought that the, that this episode did a good job overall with characters like Tess uh, really getting a lot of airtime here, obviously, with the, with the trio. Tess, Joel, and Ellie overall did pretty well. I thought the dialogue was pretty good. I think the special effects of this episode really shined in a lot of the things that they're looking to do. And I thought that it was overall a pretty, pretty great episode. And, and this is not a spoiler, but I'm sure if you've seen the preview, you saw the clickers, right? The clickers looked fantastic. They looked legit. If you played the game, you're just like, <laughs> that's horrifying to see in real time. And obviously the fact is like the, you know, the, the voice actors were, were the same from the game. So it kind of brought back those memories of the, the voices that I heard when playing that. And I thought that they had a pretty solid ending as well. But I want to get your guys' impressions. Uh, I want to start off with Hockey first. What was your overall impressions that you saw from this episode? Yeah, so I thought it was a good episode. Um, could have been better. We'll, we'll get into that a little later. But um, I thought it was a good episode. I thought the visuals uh, of the overgrown city, once outside the QZ, I thought the uh, look and the sound of the clickers was very good as well. Um, so both that and the and all three actors and or the joel and the, and the two actresses tess uh, and ellie um so far have done uh, a great job so i wanted to definitely highlight that and um one of my favorite uh, people right now is ellie i think she's a smart ass which i guess she was in the video game and i think it is very very funny so overall uh it was a it definitely was a, a good episode um could have left some things out but i'm gonna give it two thumbs up yeah, so, Angelica, what do you feel like your first impressions were of this episode? Yeah, try not to go into spoilers, but I actually like this episode more than I like the first one. Um, and we'll go into kind of the specifics why, but the dialogue between the characters, like Haki said, is really, I think, the best part right now that we're seeing. And, you know, you mentioned we saw some a new infected. Um, if you haven't, you know, clickers are, are introduced, which is a really, really strong scene with them. Um, and again, I just like the, the, the scenery. I, th I think the people who, whether it is a green screening and kind of a mix of actual rooms and green screening, they made the environment look really, really strong. And the show has done a really good job in the first two episodes, especially this one in creating tension. Um, and that's what you kind of need in, in the last of us. And they do a really good job of doing that. And I think you got a mix of a lot of different things. There were some things that they changed. Um, which I know we'll get into in the spoiler stuff that is different from the game, which I don't think is a bad thing because guys who have played the game, like like Marsman and you know myself, who are very familiar with the game, it brings a little something new. So you don't know every detail that's about to happen. So you know it kind of gives new people something to look forward to and veterans to look forward to. So I, I was impressed. Yeah, I mean uh, the key thing is that you look at this episode. A lot of people were you'll get like varying kind of like feelings that they had toward it but that's why i want us to transition to our ratings and what we feel and angelica i'll jump back right to you first what would you give this episode like what rating would you give it 
Yeah, so uh, last week on episode one, you guys go back, I gave it a nine, and I'm going to give this one a 9.2. I think it's better than the last episode. Not as craziness, obviously, with the first scene, but I thought the pacing was really good in this episode, and the characters are really good. And I thought a real hero of episode one was Sarah, the daughter. Um, and I think, you know, Tess and Ellie really are good in this episode. And uh, so those two... Um, there are some things that, again, were a little bit, we'll talk cringeworthy, I would, is, is probably the best word to describe it. And it probably would be higher. I would have it out of a 9.5, but some of the kind of dumb aspects and cringeworthy aspects lower to a 9.2 for me. But a really good, strong start. Usually the second episode, you're worried after a strong first one that it's going to, like, dip down. Um, but to me, I actually like this one. Also, the, we'll talk about spoilers. Some of the scenes were really good. Yeah, so, uh, Haki, what's your, what's your rating here, man? Yeah, so I... I almost dipped it into the high 90s, uh, excuse me, the high 80s, but um, me and Langella Killer are pretty much flipped. Last week I gave the first episode a 92. This one I'm going to give uh, a 90. It definitely did deserve to get up into that uh, high value rank. Uh, but again, some of the things definitely did not need to be um, in the show. And really, just for me, one thing really didn't need to be in the show. It definitely would have gotten possibly higher than the first episode, but that one thing did uh, drag it down a little bit. Uh, but yeah, that, that's my rating. It's definitely still a good show and, and a good continuation. Yeah, so, so Angelica, you gave it a 9 point... What was two. yours? 9.2. 9 9 point two. Yeah, last week I added it at the first episode a 9, so... Hockey, you gave yours a 9? One This week's a 9. Last week was a 9.2. Okay, so, we, so we, maybe... Yeah, Maybe I'm the Debbie Downer, right? So I'm looking at this episode. I thought it was a good episode. I don't think it was as good as the last one because I felt like there were some things that they could have added in this to make it more full. I thought they could have adjusted the episode in certain ways to make it, I think, run smoother, in my opinion. I thought they didn't add as much of the soundtrack, which I would like to see, because if you play the and granted, I'm a, I'm a gamer. I played the game and I'm making that comparison to the game. They use the soundtrack a lot more, whether it's the ominous parts or whether it's the, you know, the the cool the cool soundtrack that Last Message is well known for. Well, whatever it may be, I just felt like they really didn't utilize it that much in this in this in the show so far. And for that reason, I'm gonna give this an 8.5. I think that I was kind of drifting along in that. I was I gave it last week, I gave it 8.8. .8. So 8.5 for me for this episode for for a few reasons, and I'll get more specific later on in the in the video but i feel like they kind of didn't make you feel as if there was it was as much of a takeover from this fungus compared to what i've seen before in other zombie flicks or the game itself like for instance you know you you don't really see as many like yeah you see one part where you see a lot right but you, you don't really see that altercation other than just the clicker moment right and that's 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 kind of part of my critique of this where in the game you get you're getting that more often you're getting that constantly where you're you're always looking over your shoulder or to the side to see all right are there any any runners around or is there anyone around here and that's something i didn't really see much of and i'm a little disappointed in that but i thought it was still a good episode and we'll get into more of the in the spoiler section but i feel like overall it was just not as good i thought it was still solid it was still a good episode just not as good as the first one i think the first one landed in a lot more of these senses compared to this one did. Um, and I thought that they added actually some more music in the first episode. There were some parts that could have added music, but overall it was still a good episode for me. Definitely one of the better adaptations I've seen of any game so far. So it's a good start, right? You just want to see them continue with that process going forward. But that's going to be it for our non, our, our non spoiler rating section. And obviously if, if you, you know, if you have not watched it, I would go watch the episode and then you should come back and t take a look at our spoiler section where we're going to, going to basically discuss our feelings about different parts of the episode. And obviously, if you haven't done so yet, hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more future content. And let us know what you what you think in the comments below about what rating would you give this episode. But we're going to jump now to the spoiler discussion. So let's head there now. Well, guys, spoiler section here. And, uh, you know, I thought this was a very, very interesting episode. I thought there was a lot of cool components of it that they added from compared to the last one because you have two completely different situations you have one where you're only being stuck within the qz right you're being stuck within the the, the, the outskirts town itself that's that's quarantined so you're not going to get as much as you would want especially in a 
uh, a show that's based on like zombies or whatever you want to call them, fungi at this point. Um, but they did add a lot of interesting changes to the story. And I thought some of the additions they made were interesting, while some being very questionable. But I do want to talk about some of the components that happened here and then get you guys overall thoughts about what you've seen. So basically one of the newest additions they did was in the start of the episode. It feels like every single start so far, they've always either brought going back at the time to, to explain some more details about the fungi. In this case, it was actually the, the back in 2003 where they, they they go to Indonesia. They show a lead scientist that is first analyzing when this fungus had, had gotten out, essentially. And basically it shows how how screwed everyone is because she realizes like the only way you could stop this thing is just by buying, buying the crap out of everybody. Right. And it was kind of a powerful scene because she's like, I just want to go home and see my family. Like I, I, I she's, she's fear really afraid after everything she saw, which was a pretty gripping scene. And I, I, obviously right from there, you go right to the right to where Joel, Tess and Ellie are outside the, you know, the QZ and they're trying to go to their way to obviously meet up with the fireflies to get Ellie transported. And essentially you're going through the, the city itself. You see how battered it is. And they try to explain why it was essentially like almost like a war trying to stop the spread of this fungus from going more to more places. And I think the cool thing was, is that when you're looking at this, this part of the episode, it was mirroring to what we saw with the game. The game was almost identical in a lot of the facets. There's parts of that, that map that look like, like just like the game. And I can like pinpoint where they're going and i was like yeah that, that, this part sucks i would i remember watching this yesterday with with langella kill and, and my dad and i was like yeah this part sucks i remember this part in the game uh, it was pretty horrible i thought when they get to the hotel it was actually really it was nearly identical so i was like yeah this level is pretty pretty trash like as in trash as in really difficult to manage and the only thing i'm like i'm a little like leery about with this part of this first half was they changed a like i guess the feeling of you're not really combating as many zombies as you or runners as you normally would like and i get it in the game you're trying to have people do more right that's kind of the point of the game right but the what i'm a little like i i do want to see more of those interactions like one of the most intriguing parts of last of us is the fact that you have to always sneak around people and everything and it feels like they didn't really have that right as a component of the show it was kind of like seen with the clicker which we're about to talk about but that that part was not really seen as much like yeah you know clickers are, are pretty messed up the, as you can tell by the show extremely strong dangerous they can kill you in an instant especially in the game but runners are also dangerous but they didn't really show the interactions as much as i would want but i thought they, they added another twist where they have it where the fungus is all connected like it's in the minds of everybody where it's almost like that hive mind moment where if you step on a piece of that uh, of that fungus it could then telepathically tell everybody else that is controlled to hey go to this location and take care of these people so they added that component because that wasn't in the game either and obviously the, the thing is is that they 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 kind of changed up some of that part which i get which is not not a bad idea i just felt like having some of those zombies or runners be in part of that like the hotel section and and all that like it was like once you're in the hotel they just they just skipped right to the part where you're like, all right, we got to climb up the stairs like for 10 floors. And like in the game, like you're doing a lot of stuff to that point. And I get it. You have a certain amount of time. You got to do things. But like you could have like maybe, you know, taken some time to show some old, like, interactions and being like, you know, just some of that stuff. But I want to get your guys opinion, at least in the first half, because that's where I would kind of cut off. Once they get to the hotel and they see the, the crap load of zombies chilling on Main Street, um, so, Angelica, I'll let you go first, and then Haki. What did you feel like in this first half? Uh, what, were, what were the things you liked and disliked? Um, well, I do like the big intros of both episodes so far. It feels like, again, I don't know who comes up, came up with these, but it does definitely feels Chernobyl like um, when it came to the first episode, which was the scientist talking, and the second one where it's the um, scientist evaluating a human that got infected and killed. Um, so, I actually really like the intros. I think they really set a strong mood each time when we start these episodes so that was really great i do kind of understand what you're saying but i am going to kind of counter with the fact that you're going to get more of that in a video game than in a tv show because time restrictions and stuff like that and in a video game like you mentioned you got to do more things right so like you don't that's the difference between the video game and the show is you're doing it 
and they want to keep you entertained that way versus the show is kind of like hinting like that's going on. But I, I do kind of get what you're saying about having more interactions. I do like the fungus linking thing, which is new and it's actually real. I mean, fungus actually do that in real life. So they're trying to bring some realism to that. Um, obviously they don't control human minds, but they have those web connections in real life from what I understand. And so I do like bringing some of the realism of fungus behavior into these kind of things, um, especially with the fibers and stuff like that. Um, but again, I think the real home run taken away from some of those interactions you said is the dialogue. I think the dialogue between uh, Bella Ramsey and with Tess and Joel is really, really strong. And I know Bella Ramsey, a lot of people complaining that she doesn't look like Ellie, but boy, she is doing a really strong job as acting like Ellie. And I do think you have to give her a lot of credit. Yeah. I mean, listen, I, I don't, I'm not one of those people that has to be like, you have to be identical to everything that the game has or else it's just trash. Like, I'm not one of those people. Like, I think one of the aspects that I was big on was as long as the actor is good, right? They yeah. do the character right. Then I don't care who you are, right? Like yeah. Sarah, like Sarah, yeah. You know, Joel, you know, is not the, like, he's not identical to Joel. He looks similar, but not identical. Sarah looks nothing like Sarah in the game, but she did a great job, and I'm, right, yeah. I'm happy with it, right? I'm happy yeah. with how she de depicted Sarah, right? It's, I, it's what I like to see, right? That's the point. Like, you know, having that stuff is fine. I do agree with you, but Haki, what did you feel about this first half? Yeah, so I'm definitely in agreement with both of you about the uh, intros to the show. Um, they are very, very good. So whoever came up with the intros or at least the ideas to the intros, uh, kudos to them. Seeing that scientist, uh, you know, seeing her reaction uh, to what she pulled out of that, uh, you know, dead human, uh, yeah. you know, human's mouth was pretty crazy. Um, and then, yeah, you, you skip to the interaction with Joel and Ellie, like the first one right after that scene. And you can just see how untrusting Joel yeah. is with Ellie. And you can kind of see how Tess is like given, trying to give her a, a little bit of a chance, you know? So, um, and yes, I would have liked to see um, zombies either on the highway or, you know, in, in the hotel. I, I do get it, but I understand just like Langella Kill had said, you know, the time frame and a few other things that goes into actually making it a show. Um, but again, that dialogue when they're in the hotel up the stairs between Joel and Ellie, yeah. shoots something too. you know, you can kind of see Joel opening up a little bit, but not a lot. Uh, with yeah, if they didn't have strong dialogue, I think it would bring up that problem that Marsman yeah. has even more if they yeah. didn't have strong dialogue. Yeah. So that yeah. dialogue really does. Uh, no, yeah. Well, well, listen, I, I, listen, I agree with you guys that dialogue is great. I just feel like as a dude that played through the game, I was like, yo, that level, this level sucks ass, knowing how difficult it was. And that's why it only made you feel like it's like Last of Us, if you haven't played Last of Us before, whether it's the first or second one, Last of Us is like a. I'm trying to think of the best way. It's like a relationship, like, like a cycle. Like every time you go through a mission in that game, it's a, we got to get to this point. We have to get to the top of the hotel. All right. In your pathway to the hotel, it's a bunch of zombies, trash you have to deal with to Our get people, to that point. They and, infected or the, the last of us lore people are going to hate on you. They're infected, not zombies. Yeah, they're, I keep saying they're infected. Fine. <laughs> they're infected. So a bunch of infected are in this damn building to get to the place, right? That you have to get to. And, it makes you feel so much more accomplished to get to the top. And all of a sudden, just like Last of Us fashion, they find a way to just like, oh, well, that sucks. We can't go that way. That's what the whole point of like that, like I'm saying, because, you know, the, I remember vehemently when I finally got to the top of the damn hotel, I was like, that was that was a threat. That sucked ass to get up there. And then finally getting up there and then they're like, well, we can't go down Main Street. Because there's a crap ton of top infected over there. We can't walk over there. And you're like, I literally went through the top of this hotel so we can try to get to that place and we can't anymore. It was kind of like that. It's like that that constant. It's never the best thing going for you. Like that's what Last of Us always does, right? Yeah, you fight like just and we'll get to the second half just to prove my point. Finally getting so we got to get to the museum, which is in the game even more of a difficult attempt to get through and it felt like fine if we were going to get a lot of the hotel because a lot of the ho that hotel level was water right it was a lot of water and puzzles so like yeah whatever we want we can skip just get to the top that's fine i thought when we when you saw ellie joel and tess go to the museum you were going to see a crap ton of infected right 
a crap ton of them. I thought this is going to be annoying as hell and show you the intensity that this this story is, right? Now they did they showed a really great scene of the clickers, which is a pivotal scene when you watch and you play the game, you watch the show. It was a really cool. They did a great job of this part. The voice acting was great. The the the, the special effects were fantastic. They found people who are fans of the game that just acted out clickers, which is great because might as well get fans who know what the heck they're doing, right? So they did all that stuff, which is fantastic. Then we find out that after that altercation, you know, obviously you know that, you know, clickers are a piece of trash because they're annoying as hell to deal with. They finally kill them. We find out right once they get to where the meeting point of where the Fireflies, you know, soldiers are supposed to be, they're all dead. Now, this was slightly different the way they adjusted this. It was supposed to be Federal soldiers that had killed them. And and so essentially, because they're looking for people who had escaped, right? They found fireflies that killed them. And so they said, oh, it's the, it was the, they were infected and they killed each other and all that stuff. And then when they killed that random infected, his, his hand was on the, you know, on the fungus, which now added to the story, makes it so that every other infected knows where they are. And now they're hauling ass to that location. Now, the, the only reason that like this is like a little different is because Fedora was supposed to be the group that was attacking you. And just like in the game, Tess reveals that she is obviously infected. She doesn't have much time left. And now she uses this as a kind of like a feeling of redemption, right? Because obviously Joel and Tess have done a lot of messed up things in their time as being smugglers, right? So she feels as if this is the redemption for them to at least get some, some at peace with themselves and tells Joel, you need to go save her. And just save as many people as you can, and, and that might give you the, the redemption you want, as well as give her the redemption, knowing that, hey, I, at least I, I tried to do something to save people. And so she's setting herself up to get killed, right? She's 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 basically saying, hey, I, I'm going out with the with the ship. And uh, and so she starts setting everything up to, to explode. And obviously, all the infected start hauling ass in the building, right? And this is where the best, the best part of this episode comes in, where, you know, just like the games, you don't really see the games. You don't see what happens to Tess, right? It, and granted, it was federal soldiers chasing after him, so you're expecting Tess is just going out blazing, right? That's and that's how that, how it ends. In this one, you see how what happens with Tess, and so all the all the infected are running past her, but then all of a sudden, one infected stops and looks at Tess slowly but surely, walks over to her and starts trying to funnel in the the, the pincers into her mouth right to infect her faster and she can't light the thing and all of a sudden now it goes into her mouth and then just in time as she's about to go it drops and then and everything blows up and the cool part was that you know the song the last of us tune played just like it did with the game because it shows you how messed up life is in this game how it just everything just go up in flames right and then that's it that's how the episode ends but overall the last part is where everyone would and even this is all online all in the internet everyone's bugging out because obviously we didn't know what happened to Tess in the game. I highly doubt a federal officer started tongue kissing her and then she killed everyone. Um, but I thought I was weirded out by this part. Now, I looked at this and I was like, okay, I get what they're trying to do. They're trying to get her to like go out blazing. But to have her like say, all right, the infected want to infect her fast. So let me just, just tongue kiss her and then I'll get all the pincers in her mouth because it transfers through saliva. I was like, you know, you could have done that in so many other ways that could have just made more sense or at least been not awkward, right? It was a little awkward. I felt like I was surprised. I thought when he turned at her, I was like, all right, he's just going to start just eating her, right? Or something, or just, or just, chop, just clawing her up. And then she was going to just drop it and die, right? But she slowly but surely walks toward her like he's he finds her attractive or something and just starts kissing her, right? I was just like, you could have had a grenade in her hand and like, you know what? Ting! And I'm like, I'm... I'm going, dog, and then just, just boom, and everything just explodes, and you could have gotten the same result versus having it be the way that was, which I was a little like, why? Like, why would you do that? Like, and maybe it's artistic. Maybe it's like, hey, you know, the zombies, the kiss of death, the kiss of fate, whatever, whatever BS you want to tell me. It was a little weird, all right? It was a little weird. So, hockey's been shaking over there. What'd you, what'd you feel about the second time? I know you want to talk about the bank out. They got seen here. So go ahead, Hockey. What, what'd you feel? Yeah, listen. So the, the second part, I think, was this part up until that point because you got to see 
the clickers the museum scene was crazy i thought the sounds that the clickers made now again uh for everyone that doesn't know i never played the game right so i didn't know what clickers were um you know for the people that did play the game you i know you guys were hyped because you know it was probably exactly like the game and it gave you the same feeling that the the game did so for someone who didn't play the game i mean the the sound and the look of the clickers was crazy um, they even, you know, after the credits, they began to talk a little bit uh, about how much time and effort they put into the art of the clickers, which was like crazy. You know, they had so many drawings and sculptures of these things and they looked insane. So I think that museum scene is probably my favorite scene so far of the entire show. Um, but then, you know, they get to the, the meeting point, you know, everyone's dead, like everything up to that point was so fine like you know not the military but zombies so we got to see more zombies that's cool joel caps a zombie like marcelio said or marsman said his hands on the ground so it alerts every other zombie i'm totally fine with all that the fungi connected all that is real cool makes sense too but that make out scene there is no reason you no one can tell me no one can give me an excuse of oh you know the it goes through saliva you didn't see the grandma making out with, with with the people on the on the ground in the kitchen. She was biting them like a infected or a zombie. There's zero reason why that zombie should have made out with Tess. It's, it's quicker, dog. It's no. quick, just like just like herpes. It's quicker, dog. <laughs> that infected was horny enough to make out with Tess. That is crazy to me. That dropped the you know that dropped the score down from a 93 to a 90 in my sense, but. Again, the overall of the first and second act, the whole episode in whole was still, I think, a, a success. It just, if that wasn't there, that weird awkwardness wasn't there, it would have been better. But again, it was a very, very good episode in whole. Yeah, so Langella Kill, I know you're more, you're going you're gonna to defend the point, man. So what did you think of the well, second half? I'm not going to defend the scene. I think the scene was the dumbest part of the episode, but it shouldn't take away from like the museum aspect of, of this episode, which is the best scene in the whole show so far. Um, I mean, they created a great environment. They walked in. I do understand, but they, they kind of answered their way why there wasn't more infected in there. Right. Cause before they go in, he hits the fungus and it's dried out. And most of them are dead in there when they're in there, but they saw a fresh new body and they got mauled and they realized that this could be, what it ends up being which is clickers um and they like like hockey said they were so well drawn the, the noise even mars man they talk about the details were just so strong and you know from my recollection of of clickers the fungus growing out of their head is hardened right so it, they're kind of bullet sponges even when you shoot them in the head once you have to actually hit them multiple times or shiv them in the head even though test did axe one of them in the head which was a pretty cool part too um, and it was still going. So, like, all that was great. Now we get to the last part, which is, again, it was like the high and low of the episode in the second part because that was such a high moment. They get to the rendezvous point, and these are where it's different, right? You mentioned it was Fedra officers, which kind of makes sense. It, it kind of shows that Fedra is outside of the QZ as well, which they do have to go get supplies as well, and that this fight with the Fireflies goes way beyond Boston, which is why I like the Fedra part a little bit better then it being infected, like one of them got bit, they ended up killing off each other, which is like, wait, how did the one guy get bit and they off each other? You know what I mean? So like, that's the one where like, okay, they did it. I can accept it. Don't love that direction. And then it gets to kind of the stupid part. Tess did a fantastic job. It was more of like the details were a little dumb because the horde is coming. Very video game like where it's like the hordes here, right? It's it, in a minute. Instant. They're right. down the they're down the road over there, then they're here, right? So like it's a very video game like on that aspect. Tess knocking down the fuel all makes sense. She throws a box of grenades all along the ground, right? Number one, you should probably pick up a grenade or two and go on the on yeah you, that in the pocket. No, knowing, like, knowing you have no bullets, you that. should be bringing It's like okay, you need to light this. She takes out a lighter and it's not clicking. You have grenades on the ground. Pick up a grenade and pull the pin, right? So, like, that part is dumb. And obviously, I was thinking, okay, maybe the infected know someone's infected. And they just want to spread infection because you need someone alive for that. You don't want to kill them. You want to infect. Like, the fungus wants to infect. If you kill the person, they're dead. So, you're not passing the infection on. So, I was thinking, okay, they know that she's infected. So they were running by. But then, 
some of them stopped. So I was like, okay, do they do they know or they don't know? I guess they didn't know. And then obviously it made a lot more sense if they just bit her instead of the mouth to mouth. So yeah, that I, I to don't me understand. is an unfortunate dumb thing. Now why I'm not high, so high on it as everybody else is because it wasn't character altering and it wasn't plot altering, right? So it didn't destroy the plot of what happened. It also didn't destroy the character of Tess. It actually just made the infected look a little weird, like look weird. It just, it right? just it was a weird, make, it, it was it, a weird cringe moment. But like, I guess I've seen too many shows where they put cringe moments that hurt characters, and so like Tess wasn't really hurt by it. It was just like a dumb cringe uh, moment. Listen, I, 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 I don't mean. disagree with you. Like, you know, there are That's a lot as, worse. Like, there are a lot worse things we've watched on this it. channel that have yeah. made me want to puke outright. But I was just like, you guys are had a great episode, and then you just I, I don't know if it's the director from Chernobyl or Neil Drunkman, both both smart people who know what the hell they're doing, right? You like, try to create something disgusting, but it was just like it like, just didn't make sense. It like, just didn't make okay, sense. I guess I guess if the fear is I can get tongue kissed by a zombie in this world, right? I mean, yeah, that's that was weird and gross, but like, damn, dog, you, you could have had her attack, right? And I would have still felt like, damn, like I think the lighter thing up. too. I, I think the light thing was dumb, but like if she got bit and the lighter finally went off, I can even accept that. It's that's just the saying. mouth to mouth just doesn't that's really. That's what I just do. You could you could have just had multiple zombies like bite her. And they're like, she's just holding even it. Even one, I don't even it, care if it was drops one. Drops it, it, and, just, then, it and then that's it. It, it, it would have, it, really sense. the same thing would have occurred. The difference is she's not getting her, she's not playing tonsil hockey with the zombie. Like, she's not it playing was, tonsil hockey. Oh, in fact, like, that's not so what we're doing. It was, it was awkward. awkward. It was awkward and cringe. And that's, that's unfortunate. Again, but I yeah. don't think, again, you've said on this show, there's, I'm going to ask both of you to give my, you know, you're great on the cringe level because from one to to Master Cheeks having sex with Maki, which is well, the, the ten highest game. highest level you can get to in cringe in cringe level. Where does it rate for you? And to me it's a five because it doesn't hurt Tess's character and it doesn't hurt the plot. And so that's why I'm at a five for it. I mean, what are you guys on the cringe level? I think it's a five. It's I mean, cringe level for like Chief having sex and the kids. One kids. from one to <laughs> to Chief the the chief, chief, there's a chief, wide spectrum chief, there. Chief getting laid. Uh, yeah, number one 10 is Chief, chief getting, getting laid. laid, and number yeah. one is like slight cringe. Yeah, Where is chief it on your scale? And the kids kissing are like a nine and a ten, and this is like a six, you know? So, like, it's not. I'll, okay. I'll agree to a know? six. It, 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 oh, let's just hope. Let's just hope the day comes when Last of Us 2 comes out that we're not watching Abby getting, getting clapped, right? Let's just hope that's not going to be on, oh, a, that on a TV happen. screen. <laughs> I, that, that will definitely happen, and that will match a top level. Fringe moment because I don't have to watch her getting clapped. For you like Game of Thrones though, so you've seen plenty. Yeah, well, of yeah, but like I don't. That's the scenes. I'm not sitting there like, yo, let, let me watch this big clappage going on. Yeah, like, but Game you still watch it. Yeah, but I'm, I'm not saying I'm not gonna. I'm not watching the, the episode. But I'm saying let's not. Let's let's not make me watch because at least Game of Thrones gives you dialogue where I have to watch it. The other one's just like that's me sitting dumber. there. Me sitting there awkwardly like, oh, well, she's getting her cheeks clapped. Let let me just keep watching this. And with the actual sound effects like Game of Thrones, like there's no there's no reason for that. I, I was getting nervous. I was gonna see Darcy and the effect of clap your cheeks. Now, I don't want to see that happen. So let's 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 continue. I don't know, let's, man. You didn't give Game of Thrones negative for that. I didn't rate. I didn't rate Game of Thrones. Uh, I would have given a, a rating downward because there's too much of that. <laughs> well, listen. I want to thank everyone that came out to watch. Uh, if you if you know if you obviously. What do you think about episode two? And I want you to drop what your rating is and your overall thoughts in the comments below. And the cringe level. And, the and what's your, what's your, what's your cringe part. level on that on that makeout scene at the end. Uh, but please make sure if you haven't done so yet, hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more future content. Obviously, we do a lot of varying uh, type of things on the channel. So we have, a, we have a little something for everybody. And obviously, you can always follow us on Twitch. We do live streams daily. At least two to three times a week would be kind of the ideal number that we always hit. So please make sure you try to drop by and drop a follow as well. And you can always follow us on our social media on Twitch, Instagram, and Discord. And as located in the description below. Obviously, until next time, this is Marsman from Marsman Gaming signing off. Peace out, guys.